What is up, guys? It's your boy, No Risk, No a Premium, back with another episode of The Market Overview, guys. Today, had to spent just another day in that balance. We knew we, you know, if, if you were in the Wolf's Wealth Discord, we had our Sunday stock watch on a Monday yesterday, but we were talking about this 5,300 area uh, as an area that we wanted to hold coming into today, and we did, did exactly that. So now that we grabbed some liquidity down here, is it time to go test the highs? I don't know. Very possible, but really quickly, let's check out the Economic data from a bunch of mortgage applications really early in the morning, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Other than that, really nothing going on for the day. I always cross check it here just to make sure, but you can see just, oh, excuse me, just a bunch of Fed speakers in the beige book. Uh, nothing until really Thursday being jobless claims. Friday has PCE. So two big days as far as that is concerned, Thursday and Friday, but tomorrow really nothing burger going on. Let's go to a smaller time frame. The four hour chart, huge. Hammer candle right into that 5,300 area and held. So likely if we want to hold this area again overnight or even as low as about 5,315-ish. Might be a little bit of a cleaner chart here. Right, you guys can see this here now. Let me get this back, sorry. So for me, you know, 5,310, 5,315, you want to just stay above that area. Should we do that? Look, look for 5,340. All the way up to about 53.48. Now, you guys can see how big this level was back here. Yes, we did gap up and open up right above it, but instantly sold off. And where do we reject this 53.40? So that's where I would suspect we likely can top out in that area about 53.40. Watch for some exhaustion there. Should we break and hold that? I do think we have a clear shot back to those previous highs. NQ, much stronger than ES, as we can see. We've been talking about it all last week and into this week, but very strong here. Uh, basically held the 18,800 area, which is where it needed to hold. Um, Going to want to watch, see if we can take out this 18,981 high. If we do, I think it's all new time, uh, all time highs from there with a trend to the upside. But until then, we could easily just start to kind of, you know, balance out in this little range right here. Right, you guys can see where this is starting to kind of develop here. So want to just hold the lows of today, see if we can take out that high. If not, can play the reject the all-time highs, and this balance can continue, likely setting up more balance going into those data prints later this week. B PC probably being the bigger of the two. I uh, could easily just draw for liquidity there and have a move come out after that morning. Uh, 528 was the level we had on SPY. Went a smidge lower, basically, to Friday's low and held. Uh, but no body closes under 528. So, so far, so good. That'll be the area of interest you'll want to watch going into tomorrow morning. And then 530 won't be the level you want to play around there. You guys can see the balance is starting to balance out here, if you will. Uh, but above 531.17 or 70, you can see instantly we go back to 534 above there. We'd see a very nice trend to the upside. Uh, QQQ, much, much stronger than SPY. I'm going to go to a four hour chart here, though. Much stronger than SPY. Like I said, uh, we knew that this level into, you know, Friday's dip was holding five, 457. OK, 457 was holding and it held for today. So let's see if that can hold to tomorrow. 461.50, I think you just want to play that all time high level as that balance looks a little bit different than the spy and QQQ or spy chart. So QQQ look to play around 461.50. Should we reject it? Look for the short trade break and hold it. Look for the trend up um, and just, <clears throat> you know, trailing stop all the way as you're sitting in calls. Likely if we're going to be trending much higher. Let's go to. IWM down to 203.50-ish and holding, which is a good start so far. If we do and continue to hold this area of this balance that built out, I don't think, I don't know if we'll go down and get that, you know, that gap fell swing long at 200, which is what I've been waiting for. It might not happen. If not, you could take a starter position for possibly a swing up here back to 212. We got to hold 203, 203.50. Watch for the takeout of 207. That'll get you up to 209 and 212, respectively. Guys, that is all. I got for you today. As usual, you got to wake up early, get your levels right, and of course, not do anything fucking stupid. We'll see you Brian early. Peace.